Hi guys, this is Moonseeker of Light Guardian. So, Scorpio, this is your love scope for the first two weeks of August. I don't really have an outline like I normally do. I'm just gonna get some cards and see what spirit wants to come through. So I'll use the Romance Angel card decks to kind of like give us a conversation pointers, a place to start. So Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know about the love life for the first two weeks of August? So what do we have? We have healing family issues. First card out, healing family issues. Past love relationship. And I want one more card, please. At least one card. Thank you. And we have release your ex. Okay, so Scorpio, for the first two weeks of August, what I see here is that this soul connection you're inquiring about. There's things that need to be healed. And this starts by releasing this person. Release your ex and clear your energy. You have got you guys have known each other before, past lifetimes. You've gone through this before. In order for there to be forward movement, you need to release this connection and heal some family issues that might be getting in the way of your connection. This healing family issue is more so for the person you're watching this for. This might not resonate for everyone. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. But let's dive a little bit deeper and see what we have here. So, Spirit, why is healing family issues here today? What do we need to know about healing family issues? facing up so family issues we have family and we have left behind and I want to get one more card please and we have unity so So what this is telling me here is that in order for your person to heal the family issues, they need to confront some kind of abandonment issues when it comes to perhaps a parent. Perhaps a parent abandoned them, left them behind. They lost their sense of unity, the less the sense of family a sense of you know being a family unit that's perhaps why they have a hard time committing because they were abandoned by a parent or another significant family member so your divine counterpart needs to heal this confront them and heal them so that they can be unified within themselves and how they see family so yeah, this is, I mean, I feel, I feel this is a bit heavy for this person. Um, all the things they've gone through with their family and just this um, fear to be left behind again, to be abandoned again. I actually want to um, look at this a bit further. I want to look at what shadows... Um, actually, is this deck? I know first of all look at what what triggers like what when they get triggered by the family issues what shadows come up for them what shadows show up how do they um, express this or uh, act this out when they feel perhaps like they're about to be abandoned We have disconnected. Yeah, so 
whenever they feel at risk of being abandoned again or left behind, and this is possibly by you, they will disconnect. They disconnect from this relationship, from this connection, and um, perhaps walk away from you. You guys might have done this dance, you know, over and over again, but this is because they have a fear of being left behind, a fear of um, being abandoned again. So this is how they they protect themselves. They disconnect. Um, what more do we have when it comes to this? that we have would disconnect so the action they do is to um, disconnect they also have victim and big dreams they might go into victim mentality and that's why they they disconnect because they're like you know this happened to me before it's gonna happen again you're gonna do this to me I know it because that's how it's always been but the thing is behind of all of this they have big dreams when it comes to family they have dreams where they have a family where there is no disconnection there is no being abandoned there's just this coming together all of you together where the parents are there and they are blessed by the angels and protected and guided by the angels if you see that there i don't know if you can see that clearly but yeah so those are the things that comes up for them when it comes to healing family issues so now let's have a look at why is past life relationship here We have, yes, you have known this person before. Yes, this is a soul connection. This could be a nudge from a spirit telling you, giving you confirmation. Um, if perhaps you had doubts. I don't normally confirm soul connections. I feel like you're the only person who can know this, but this is a little bit of a nudge for someone out there who needed to get that kind of confirmation. We have together and we have forgiveness. So, you guys came together in this lifetime to learn about forgiveness. The, right now, someone needs forgiveness. I don't know if you can see it, it says forgiveness there. Someone needs forgiveness. This could be you or this could be them. I feel more like you need to forgive them, Scorpio. For you guys to come back together, release them by forgiving them. Because when you forgive someone, you release yourself from that energy, from those emotions, from those um, things that might be weighing you down because you, you haven't forgiven them. You still harbor these emotions towards them um, and you refuse to forgive them. That weighs more on you than, than it does on them. So, yes, Spirit is saying this is past life. Um, past life relationship you've known them before and this is a soul connection but for you guys to get, come back together there's gonna have to be forgiveness okay so why is release your ex here how do you release your ex Okay, we have contact, we have walk away, and we have defensive. So, releasing your ex will help you walk away from this so that you can get to the place where you no longer have to be defensive, where you no longer have to defend this connection, where you no longer have to defend yourself, where you can just walk away, release them, so that the veil that stands between you, that they can then stop breaking through that veil and make contact to you, bring forward messages to you, rather than now where you guys might not have any communication, but you're holding on to them, which means they can't break through the veil because the static and the resistance is still too strong. It's still too strong because you're 
pushing up against it with your hands. And we're all here, we have hands um, being held up. It's time for you to lower your hands, let them rest, release your ex, release that uh, barrier so that they can be the ones to break through and make contact to you. So, Scorpio, there you have it. Lastly, I want to get a message from your divine counterpart or the person you are watching this for. Something they want to, you to know right now. So what do they want you to know? I want to take the ones that I flipped over. I wasn't ready for you. I'm in awe of your beauty. You are the only breath of fresh air I got. I've never met someone like you before or since. So, what they're saying here is that you matter to them. They see you and they admire you and they see all the things you've brought to their life they know you're unique but they weren't ready for you because of this because of the family issues they need to heal until they heal that they will never ever be able to show up in this connection the way they want to and the way you need them to so Scorpio I hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching please like comment subscribe share if you feel so inclined and i'll see you guys next time thank you bye